While en route to a Republican fundraiser in Alabama, Vice President Dick Cheney stopped in the natural state to endorse a fellow Republican and former Bush administration representative, Asa Hutchinson. Citizens of Arkansas have grown accustomed to strong leadership in Little Rock. And on the 7th of November, you'll have the opportunity to carry on that tradition. Hutchinson set his sights on Arkansas's highest office last March after leaving the Department of Homeland Security. The Arkansas native has served as undersecretary to the department, who was passed over twice to serve as secretary. Regardless, the Bush administration is lending its voice. Asa is also the kind of leader who brings people together, and he'll be a governor who works with members of both parties in the public interest. Meanwhile, the Mike Bibby campaign continues. The attorney general of just about four years says it's not about D.C. This race is not about uh, D.C. It's about DeQueen and Delight and DeWitt and places in Arkansas. It's not about New York. It's not about Washington. It's not about Boston. It's about Arkansas. There's some kind of unidentified bogey coming in from the north. Roger that. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's digital. For the first time ever, you can get a clearer perspective of Superman saving the city of Metropolis right here in Little Rock. Starting this week, uh, we're the first theater in central Arkansas to install DLP, digital projection. The technology has been installed on six projectors at the Colonel Glenn 18, replacing the 35mm ones previously at the theater. The film, we always battle in dirt and debris. When you see a movie on film, you'll often see a lot of little specks, little black spots, and even the cigarette marks for where we need to switch the reels over. With digital, there's none of that. Management at the Colonel Glenn 18 says their goal is to purchase a dozen more digital projectors in the near future, which means more super quality movies could be coming to a theater near you. Very nice. Let's get back to uh, Jason Harper. We saw two of the interns. I love the music. It just, it, it's powerful. It's a fanfare. Yes. All right. It's a little over dramatic, but that's okay. We like it that way. Uh, yes, Jason, hey, good to see you again. Now, we saw two of the interns go down into the archive room and come back, I guess, uh, in what, about a minute and a half, a little longer for some? Yes. What did the other two do? Yeah, we want to show you quickly. Uh, this was uh, this was Aubrey a while ago. She was the third one to go this morning, and she made her way down there pretty quickly. Actually, she said she took a single steps down the uh, down the stairs, but took about eight on the way back up as she was coming back up here. Uh, Aubrey, was it easier or harder than you thought it would be? Um, coming back up the stairs was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be because yeah. I was running down there and I was panicked or whatever, looking for the tapes, and then uh, coming back up, I was really focused on getting back up here, so I was kind of out of breath. And let me share her time with you, everyone. Her time was 1.03. Oh, so okay. that put her in the lead. And yeah. so the last one to go was Kim Hanna, all the way from Arkadelphia. So, Kim, you had in your mind, I've got to beat a minute three. What were you telling yourself as you were heading down into the dungeon? Tell myself, don't get mixed up. Make sure you get the right tapes so you don't come all the way up here with the wrong tapes, pretty much. But Did you try to take stairs like eight at a time on the way back up? I tried to. It didn't quite work out yeah. like I hoped. All right, Kim's final time was a minute 12. Oh! So they are actually twice. standing in the order at which uh, they placed here today. And so uh, let me put our official clipboard down. And I'm telling, I'm telling Aubrey, this is uh, an official Italian cycling jersey that she now gets to put on that says Le Champion. This is yours. I will take your tapes. You can go ahead and put that on if you like. And ladies, this is what you are after for the next three days. You have plenty of time to redeem yourself. And uh, coming up Friday, we'll see if it will be Aubrey or one of these other three ladies. We'll get to co-host Good Morning Arkansas with you, Steve, and you, Melinda. And uh, it has been an exciting day. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, she looks go ahead good. Do, yeah. do your little turn. Show that off. Good, yes. How about that? Whoa, very <laughs> nice. <laughs> She's got the moves. Aubrey's got the moves. So uh, was family watching this morning, by the way? Um, I think my mom and dad were good, watching. Good, good. Good. All right. We've got a lot more to come, a lot more Olympics the rest of this week, guys.